So what we're going to do today is we're going to add internal finishes to the structural elements um, because a lot of the time they have just material finishes like floor slabs will be made out of concrete and the walls have plaster and what you want to do is to add a nice finish maybe it might be a paint finish or it could be a material like wood for the floor to the structural elements so to do this we're going to use the paint command which is on the modify tab but what you must do first is to set up the materials that you want to apply the finishes to so to be able to do that what you need to do is to go to the materials option because the materials must be created or loaded into the project otherwise you won't be able to paint them so we'll start off with floor and you'll see that we've got some oak flooring in there but if you go to the materials library there'll be more floors that we can import in so scrolling down not cork tiles there we are wood planks is one I want I can drop that in and perhaps I'll also have there's a wood floor one as well so they're both added and then what we might then do is want some paint finishes as well so once again if we scroll down materials library will have all the paint there's a paint one in there that's it and we can set up some custom ones if we want blue paint steel finish okay and the final one will perhaps have a bit of carpet so we don't have any carpet in there there's one and we'll have two okay so all our materials now added um, the other thing we might need to do we can close this down is that because the floor is one single slab we might want to make up individual floors in the separate rooms so that we can give them different floor finishes and to do that we just create floors that are very thin and have no material which we can paint on or we can actually give them material if we want to so there's two ways in which we can do it so let's do that so if we switch to a floor plan and now if I just change my level of detail to hidden line so we're going to create some floors so we go to the architecture tab we go to the floor tool architectural floor and the floor just needs to be one component so we actually have one that's floor 400 we edit type we duplicate it and I'm going to change this and call it floor covering okay so I'm going to change it and call it floor covering so edit the structure and we just make that three mil and rather than structure or sorry bigger than that five mil and we give it happy with the material sorry and we're going to make it a finish now the other thing we do so that we don't get a bleed of floors and what that means is if you have floors that finish at the same level you will get a blend of finishes so you get some of the whatever the wood flooring is the floor covering and you'll get some of the concrete so what you do you raise the floor finish so it sits above it which is what you would do in real in reality okay so what we need to do is now we want to create the boundary so I'm going to use the rectangle tool I'm going to come from the bottom corner and then go to the other top corner
There we are. We can padlock it as well if we want to, so that if the walls move, uh, floor size adjusts with it. Green tick to finish. And we're going to do that just in an, another room. I'll do it in the main foyer as well. So back to floor. This time I'm going to use the pick wall option. And then the pick line to do the other bits. And then finally the corner tool just to tidy it all up. Once we're happy with that, green tick to finish. And no is the answer to the question. So we've got another floor covering. I'll do one more so we've got three. And this is going to be another rectangular room. And I might close the padlock again. Green tick's finish. So we've added the finishes, and if we go to our level 0 3D view, they're there, but they don't have any materials added to them. So now we're going to use the paint tool, which is going to allow us to add the finishes to the surfaces. So where this sits, on the Modify tab, and you'll see there's the paint. The minute you select it, the materials browser opens up and these are all the materials we can use and all you need to do is choose one. So what we'll say is for the columns we want to add white paint to. So let's scroll down. And there we are, we've got paint and white paint white lining. So I'm going to choose paint white lining. And you'll see automatically it allows you to pick on the surface and it changes to the colour. Nice and straightforward. That one there as well. And we've got the column in there. Just rotate round so you get it at the right angle. And if you really want to make sure you get every surface, you can do the tab trick as well. That puts it on that edge. And that edge as well. OK. Now, if we want to add, say, for example, we we'll have a feature wall, different color. If it's an external wall, say like this one, not only is it going to do it on along the whole length of the wall, but the whole height as well. And that may not be the case. So what we need to do in that case is do what we did with the floor and just put a covering wall in there, which will allow us to put the finish on. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to say done to this just for now. And then we're going to go back to our level zero floor plan. We're going to go to the architecture tab into wall. And we'll look and see if we've got a wall that is just a single entity. And we have, we've got a wall external 300. So I select that one. And I say edit type. And I'll call this duplicate it. And we're going to call it wall. 
pull this wall and it's going to be internal and it's going to be finish. So int underscore finish. And we go to uh, edit. We'll say it's going to be a finish. And the thickness, once again, is going to be, say, 5 mil. We'll make it 3 mil because it's just the thickness of the paint. And now we just draw it on the wall that we want to put it on. So it's going to be, in fact, we could go all the way around. And I've just realized I haven't done something, so I'm going to escape out of that. Select my, go back to my finish wall style, so back into wall. Edit type, because what we didn't do was to make it an inter interior. Okay, so now we can continue. Now, if you had windows, you'd have to create cutouts for them. So there we are finished. And so now we have our finishes on our wall. Let's go back to our level zero 3D view. And we can go back to the modify, go back to the paint. We can paint some finishes on here. So let's go for, instead of white, I think I had another color paint, didn't I? There we are, steel blue paint. And what some of these times you might need to uh, go to a realistic to see the color added. And there we are, now we can see color. Quite a vivid blue, but I'm gonna put it on a few walls. For a flooring, we created a number of floors, didn't we? Floor options. So we had wood planks and we had carpet. So let's go for wood planks first. There it is. And we had carpet. We'll have wood flooring in the other one. And we'll have carpet as well. Let's scroll up. There it is. And our finishes, and what you can do, if you decide, well, you know what, I want to change the uh, that planks, wood flooring to planks, you just pick on it, and it updates it. And that's how you add finishes, internal finishes to your rooms and your structural elements using the paint command.